Hi everybody, my name is Stefano. I work as Dallings on the Xenai Hypervisor. Um, and I want to talk to you about a couple of new features in the, the, for the next uh, Xilinx Zen release. Typically, in a Xen system, the firmware loads Xen, the Xen hypervisor, then Xen loads and boots DOM0, kernel, and user space, and then the user space tools such as Excel become available for you to start additional VMs. Now, the boot sequence has been shortened dramatically by booting in parallel multiple VMs directly from the Xen hypervisor. The way it works is, uh, we load from the um, bootloader, uBoot, we load all the necessary kernel and RAM disks directly, so we load the Xen hypervisor binary, DOM0 kernel and RAM disk, and other VMs, kernels and RAM disks, into memory. And then, uh, we boot Xen, and Xen takes care of booting everything else in parallel or different physical CPUs. So you could boot four VMs in parallel, uh, dramatically cutting the boot, the boot time to even less than a second potentially. Also because the other VMs typically are going to be smaller and targeted to a specific use case, so they typically complete the boot sequence far earlier than DOM0. Also, it's possible to use this to partition the system in different domains. Um, in this example, I took a device out that usually is assigned to DOM0, like the network card, and assign it to this VM, the first VM started in parallel with DOM0. To show that it's possible to carve out devices and uh, for, could be physical or uh, in programmable logic blocks and assign them to other VMs as well. Um, once the system is fully booted, it's still possible to use DOM0 to start other VMs the traditional way. In this case, uh, I've been starting one more VM using a PV calls correct connection. This is a new, uh, new paravirtualized driver coming to the Linux kernel just in the recent months uh, and allow you to create a private network between VMs. So in this setup, in fact, what we're going to have, because the network card is assigned to the first VM booted in parallel with DOM0, that is the only one that does network access. So networking, internet, is completely isolated and only accessible from here. These other two VMs, they are connected, they have a private network, but there is no way they can reach the internet or be reached from the internet, which could be a very important setup for secure environments. I'm going to start showing you the demo now. So, okay, here we have the console, uh, the, the serial directly from the board. I'm going to restart the board now. We are loading the firmware into the board. Firmware is starting. Now, this is U-Boot uh, getting an IP and getting uh, the binaries from the network. You see now starting Zen, and then all the VMs in parallel. So, there's going to be a lot of noise on the console. Here, all the VMs are starting in parallel. And you can see here from here that actually the network is already up and running way before DOM0 is, is as complete the boot sequence. That's because the network card is assigned to the other VM, which is much smaller, and, uh, and basically the only thing it's doing is setting up the network. Switching to that VM, this first DOM1, we can see that it does a network address and has been pinged here from the outside. So it's reachable. Then we have, this is one more VM running just for demonstration is doing really nothing at the moment. Going back to DOM0, I can log in and start additional VMs. This is the VM with a PV call setup. Um, the interesting bit about PV calls is because it's a paravirtualized network protocol uh, that works at the socket API level, there is actually no network interface here. As you can see, there is no way this VM could reach out to the internet or be reached from the internet. But if I go into root and create just a sample page with written a simple word, ciao, and I start an HTTP, HTTP D daemon, going back to DOM0, 
Gandalf Zero is in the same situation. There is no uh, network access from outside or to outside, but I can retrieve the page from the other VM. with child on it. So the connection between the two VMs, num0 and the last VM created, is completely isolated from the rest of the internet and the rest of the host.